This video is sponsored by Extra Wallets. More on them in a minute. Photoshop, it's what we use to edit and manipulate photos. Let's be real for a second. When it comes to photo manipulation, Adobe is the alpha and the omega. There are other options out there like the stuff from Topaz Labs, but the masses in general all use Photoshop. But here's the thing, Photoshop comes at a cost and it's subscription based, which means you can never really own it and you have to pay a subscription to have it. But Adobe does always have promos running and students even qualify for additional discounts. Either way though, at time of recording, Photoshop will set you back about 20 bucks a month. That being said, what if there was an exact replica of Photoshop that you can use daily and that you didn't even need to download? And you can use it on pretty much any computer that has a web browser. Enter Photopia, a browser-based Photoshop replica. It's completely free to use. And when I say replica, check this out. Today I'm going to show you how to create and edit a photo in Photopia, but before we dive into that, let's get into today's sponsor, which is Extra Wallets. Extra Wallets is the world's largest smart wallet brand. They craft high-end trackable wallets designed to keep your valuables safe while keeping a slim and stylish fit. Right now they're offering 25% off all orders and 35% off all orders, $200 or more. Now why do I love this wallet so much? And honestly, there's a ton of reasons, but the main reason is this. You just push this button and your cards fan out so you can select the card that you want. Also, this wallet can come with a trackable card that even plays a sound if you're looking for it. You can purchase your own extra wallet linked below in the description. It is my affiliate link and it will help support this YouTube channel if you choose to use it. But I do highly recommend this wallet. And if you know anything about me, you know that I wouldn't let a lame sponsor sponsor any of my videos. I do some crazy research before I accept it and I need to make sure that it's a product that I actually stand behind. It is a product that I carry and use daily so I do highly recommend it. Get yours today. All right, and with the sponsor stuff out of the way, thank you so much, Exer, for sponsoring this video. You guys rock. Let's dive into what Photopia is really all about. When you go to photopia.com, you'll be greeted with this screen. You can create a new project, open an existing project, even open a PSD file. I'm gonna go ahead and open up an image where I want to remove some blemishes off of my subject. So the first thing that you're gonna notice right off the bat is that this looks nearly identical to Photoshop. The cool thing is even keyboard shortcuts work here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Z to zoom in and press J for my spot heel tool and start cleaning this up. Guys, honestly, this is insane and it works great. When you're done, head on over to file and then save or export the file however you'd like in whichever format you'd like. All right, so that's how you edit an image. Let's look at how you can create an image. So to create an image, head on over to File, New, put in your file type settings. And I'm gonna go ahead and make mine 1920 by 1080 and make the background area transparent. I'm gonna press T for text and I'm gonna start creating. I'll even add a white background and a drop shadow to the text. And this does work incredibly good, but there are a few differences that you get with the subscription model versus this web-based version. Key features that are missing are things like the camera raw filter, a sky replacement, and if you're trying to create like artificial bokeh, those filters are nowhere to be found. But if you're looking to learn Photoshop before subscribing to it, this is definitely the way to go. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Did you find it helpful? Is Photopia something that you're gonna try out? I will have a link for it in the description below. If you really did enjoy this video though, remember to hit that like button and subscribe so that you can get more videos just like this one. And if you returned because you're already subscribed and you received the notification, then congratulations, you are not a potato. All right guys, that is it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace.